Well, here we are again, and this time I got some protection on because these have been a bit plate boarded in one of the two of them. Um, all it is is I've used a queen tip and I want to make some more queens and sort of split them. As they did very well, they've moved very fast. They've got uh, a few of these things up very quickly. And uh, I'll grab this without. See that? That's actually quite new what they're doing there. That uh, is only, or even weeks. They're very strong guys. Very fast and very strong. You have a look at this side, they've got brood in here that they've started to put in. And uh, they've got some emerging, uh, emerging bees there. So yeah, I might move that to there. I'll see if I can get some light on it for you. Just here, these two are emerging. It's really good stuff. That was really fast from them. Um, the queens are beauty. They're a bit vicious though, and that's why this is on. Because they, uh, they really do get a bit, uh, a bit huge. Yeah, trying to put that in there without squishing. Yeah, good. Um, they've done some very nice work. There is no doubt in that. And uh, they're not a very, they, they were never quite like you saw me get stung in about the first video uh, when I was putting them in that they were a bit, a bit violent old mate. But they're very nice stuff still. They collect pollen very well. That's sort of one of the things that keepers look for in that sort of stuff. And uh, have a look at the queen kit here. Here's what I go on about too in uh, some pictures. See this? That's a, a piece of a uh, um, a bee ladder. It's, they, they sort of hang down together and they join up between frames. And uh, but it usually hangs right down here and they hang between frames. That's not too bad. This is a gender queen kit here. And uh, I'm hoping that these guys have put some larvae in there. I'm going to have a look for a second. If you excuse me, I'll just sort of, sort of brush them off. And, uh, now the queen has, I don't say, I can see any larvae there, mate. Let's see if I've got some down over this side. Come on. Come on. Nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a gender queen kit there, but no, there's nothing in there. So I'll leave it there for a second there. There's nothing in there. Um, they seem a bit sort of wild right now. And uh, wild about it, but uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Sure. That was a stupid one from it. what we're about you know what? if you don't mind not stinging that's right let me get that out of the way what might be best may be to put that thing across because that was brood and that's where she's laid it's pretty good um, Just want to check a few more things here. I want to check whether she's uh, whether this has been plate boarded by removing uh, some things. So I've got to quickly lift this stuff for a second. Unfortunately for them. So, this one here. No, they haven't gone to work on this one quite yet. A good crawl all over it. Um, there's a couple at the other end. Uh, this is really their honey frame I'm pulling here. Let me get them out of the way there. There we go, there. I can't really grab this. This is pretty flipping heavy, this thing. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, 
Now this honey frame they've put brood in that too. If they're working hard and working fast. And uh, I'd usually just from like this lot. I like this lot, they're very strong at least anyway. So very powerful guys. This is the honey frame and it's got brood inside it. Uh, trying to determine whether that Nearly having things built over the front of it. See this? The building over the front of the, uh, the the honeycomb in the honey honey frame here. The honey frame's not completely uh, not completely deep. I'm going to run out of film time in a second, so I better put these back in and see if I can go through the lot with you. Putting that one back and trying to sort of shift them from that. Yeah, that's right. And this one go back in here. You want to move your lot. That's right. You've got some things in the way. But, yeah, that, that there. Right. Come on. That's it. Yeah. Right. This one may as well move over. This is the no, this isn't the queen tip. Trying to find how many of them are killing themselves at it. That's right. Yeah. So you're going to get in the way, you lot. So this lot over here. And you need to stand that one. Right. We're just being sure up this side of it that they are not uh, in any way cloak boarded. Because I want the cloak boarding to occur inside the other hive there where I split them again. And I thought I'd give them that sort of a point. They were reproducing so fast and there's so much pollen around. Because they've been doing well on that sort of point. And the, you know, what I, uh, what I had is now immensely, uh, immensely more. And when I took out some frames and uh, split them, uh, there is probably more again now than there were before. So I'm just going to take a good look here. So I don't know whether the Queen got into the other one. I was pretty sure she didn't, but I didn't take a good look for her. It's like I thought they didn't have any larvae. They didn't have any larvae in this one. Um, but they're making a great difference. They're starting to uh, do this one. Yeah. They have a good crawl all over that. That hasn't been started, that one. Right, back in here, you lot. I'm going to put you back together in a second. As you were. That's right. And I need to take a look, you lot. So you move yourselves. Now this would be full of brood, this one. Yeah, this is one of their very old brood frames, but it's not too bad. I know where the queen is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. You should show it like that. It's pretty good stuff. 